All right, we'll be going one step further with our chunking today, and we're going to be looking closely for vowel digraphs and consonant digraphs. So we're going to be identifying the difference between the two. Your task today will be to do the same thing as you did last week with our bubbles, to separate their words into their separate speech sounds, and then to identify the consonant digraphs and the vowel digraphs using two different colors. Now I chose to use blue and red. You can choose any two colors you like. Good. All right, so the first thing I've done is I've written my four wazy words on my page in the top corner. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the word boat. I'm going to sound out the word and then write my bubbles down. But O to, so I've got three sounds. One, two, I'm hearing three different sounds. All right, now that I've got my bubbles, I'm going to write my word down. So B, O, Now you can see in the word boat, the O-A are making an O sound. Now O is a vowel sound. So for that, I'm going to colour this one in red. This is going to be a red cookie. Okay, it's a vowel sound. Alright, now I've written down... Okay, now I've drawn the bubbles for the word courage. So let's do the word courage together. Okay. Uh, uh, Alright, now I've got a J there, so the G and the E are making a consonant sound, I'm going to colour them in blue. So you will need two different colours for this activity, and K uh, the O U is making an U uh sound, which is a vowel sound, so I'm colouring the vowel digraph in red, just like this one here. All right, now I've drawn my bubbles for the word mother. Let's have a look here. Mm. Uh. Uh. So I've actually got two consonant digraphs in this, so I'm gonna get my blue. TH is making a th sound, and ER is making an er uh sound. So they are consonant digraphs. Your job 